We know that we need something, someone to help us through these storms. Jesus reminded us as long as we live in this world, we all will face many storms in our lives. The reality is the two of you will occasionally have disagreements, health problems, financial questions, relationship issues, kiddo surprises, and more that will test the strength of your character and your marriage. You are promised in Scripture that the person and presence of Jesus Christ in your lives will make you more than conquerors over any storm Satan assaults your marriage with. As we get older and our bodies begin to show the effects of aging, it's the godly character of a husband and wife that keeps their love for each other growing. So what is faith? According to the writer of Hebrews, faith is the confident assurance that what we hope for is going to happen. Faith is the evidence of things we can't yet see. Faith is believing that God has never let us down in the past, God will never let us down in the present, and He will never let us down in the future. Faith is knowing that God has great plans for our lives. Faith is trusting God to use every experience in our lives and every person in our lives to mold us and shape us and use us for His glory. Faith is realizing that no matter what happens in life, God is doing something good with it. Great marriages are built by great people who possess a great faith in a great God. I know you don't like it, but <laughs> damn, Stop. you look good. <laughs> Trust me when I say the only way the two of you will experience marriage as God created it to be experienced is to live by faith, walk by faith, make your decisions by faith, parent by faith, love each other by faith. Hollywood can tell us we're old fashioned and we're out of touch, but I'm counting on the two of you to love one another and treat one another in such a way that demonstrates to our unbelieving world faith in God is the only way to live. I pledge my life and love to you. I promise to respect and encourage you, to listen and communicate with you. I will be loyal to you. I will comfort and cherish you always. I will be your friend and help me. And I will seek with you God's will for our lives. I pledge my life and love to you. I promise to respect and encourage you, to listen and communicate with you. I will be loyal to you. I will comfort and cherish you always. I will be your friend and helpmate, and I will seek with you God's will for our lives. Stay in this moment, pray it never ends. With the authority given to me by God, it's my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together May no man put asunder. Would you like to kiss your bride? Okay. As I'm sure many of you are aware, McKenna and Caleb had a little bit of a longer engagement. So I've had exactly 561 days to think about this very moment. And I wrote this speech on day 559. So McKenna and I have been friends for about 20 years, 
We first met in Sunday school. The rest was pretty much history. Although we didn't always end up in the same classroom in elementary school, we always seemed to find our way to one another, whether that was at lunch, recess, on a field trip, or walking home from school when we were practically neighbors for a bit. You make me want to celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. No Caleb a long time, like half my life. We really became friends in high school. After high school, Caleb went to college. I did not. He would call me every single weekend looking for a party. And then one day, he shows me a picture of this redheaded girl, and I'm like, oh God, this is trouble. But I was wrong. Keeps his head on his shoulder and grounds him from the wild man he used to be. McKenna taught me it's okay to be myself. In the midst of the highs, lows, and various amounts of change that we've experienced over the years, you've never wavered in your ability to be a supportive friend who is free of judgment, full of advice, and quick to make me laugh. You've always made me feel like I was enough. I've never questioned how much you care about your people, and that's a quality that I hope never fades. Caleb and Kenna, you both are perfect for each other. We've had some awesome memories. I can't wait to make more with you guys as a married couple. Here's to the Heinzmans. They bring out the best in one another, which makes them such, so great as a couple. There's no doubt in my mind that they've found their person in one another. So to wrap this up, I'll just end by saying congratulations to you both. I love you guys. Would everyone join me in a cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Heinzelman. Like a picture that I've painted in my wildest dreams Came to life in every feeling that you gave to me You make me wanna celebrate